Uh, it's a beautiful day and today let's talk about Canva tutorials for beginners. So if you are a beginner and uh, you are starting your business or you are an influencer, entrepreneur, Canva is the go-to place for you to get some of your basic things done. You can start a company from Canva from scratch without even employing any graphic designer. Let's go straight to let you know what you need to do when it comes to Canva. If you are new to this, subscribe. If you are new to this, just send me a message and let me know the country you are listening from. So let's go straight to Canva. So this interface of Canva is like this. It's canva.com. And uh, once you go to the interface, you can see how beautiful this is. And what you need to do is to log in or sign up. Log in or sign up. So um, uh, if you are new, you just sign up. If you are already having an account, you log in. And you can use your Google accounts or Facebook to log in. Me, I just use any. And uh, I'm in now. So this is how the interface looks like. So we just want to go through the, some of the basic things that you need to know as a new beginner. And uh, how you can create stunning uh, graphics great graphics for your businesses and what you can use canva for so when you go to the left side as you see your name and uh, the type of plan that you are in you can actually use free plan and i've been using i use free plan for like close to like four years and uh or you can equally also just upgrade a little so where you can get the pro features so the pro features is just like some addition to the free plan if you want to use some uh, images yeah the pro plans have some images even though the free plan has a lot of images too so the home is like this and you go to the templates the next one is templates and the other one is your projects projects that you are working on so then you come down you see a lot of things down we'll talk about some of them but the interface quite looks like this and they are going to uh, teach you uh, let you know what you want to create so what you want to create is like this so they'll give you suggestions. So Instagram posts, YouTube thumbnail, because those are the things I've been doing. And then once you come down, they would equally some suggestions. And also your recent designs are all here. So you can see all the designs I've used Canva for. And once you go down, you see all my designs, a lot of designs. I've used Canva to create over 300 pieces of uh, graphics. If not, uh, if I'm not mistaken, more than 300 graphics from different things all together so let's click on the templates for you to see the possibilities of things you can use canva for so these are the templates so it goes like we have all all, all templates so things you may like inspired by your design trending near you new in canva whiteboard they just new whiteboard you can use canva for presentation like powerpoint so you can like if you want to do a powerpoint there are templates people have already designed all you just need to do is to go there input your words input your information data and you are good to go but the designs are already there there are also logos people have also designed logos you can use canva for logos and uh, you can see these are templates so if you want to use any of them like you just scroll through and see all the great templates so if you want to see any of them that is nice you just click on it and start using the template that you want then you can use canva for uh, instagram posts so there are instagram posts that you can use canva for so if you, you sometimes you are on instagram and see nice nice designs most of them are being done by canva so you can do quotations you can do quotes you can do like pro, pro, promos promotions and all those designs using canva you can also use Canva for flyers. So maybe you have an event coming up, your company profile, you want to do a design, flyer, look, I see all great, this digital marketing agency, you see, these are great flyers. You just one stop shop. You can just go in and use this template and input your information. Resumes, you can use Canva to write, uh, to do design resumes, uh, your CVs, and there are already templates that you just input your information in. So posters, certificates. So if you maybe you have a training program and you want to give certificates, just come into Canva and create them and put input the names, letters, newsletters, Facebook posts, your stories, 
YouTube thumbnails, there are a lot of things you can use Canva for. So let's go back and just create some few samples for you to see. So, and uh, one thing I want you to know is Canva, once you come to Canva, you have the option to use Canva for what you want to use it for. So, for example, if I want to use Canva for a logo, two, two options, you can create it from scratch or you can equally use someone's template. So, I'm just going to show you how to create from scratch and also incorporate a template into it just so that you're not wasting time. So, this is it. So, I want to create a logo. So, what you do is you go to, you just type in the, 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 like the search bar. That's the shortest way. You type in logo. So you click on logo. So once you click on logo, you are going to get a lot of templates. People have already designed logos. You just scroll through. If you see the one that you want, you click on it. I, use, I like this one. You click on it and it gives you the, the size of the logo. Maybe you don't know the size of the logo that you want to create. But Canva will give you a pre-made uh, designs, templates, and the size is always like 500 by 500 for logos. So let me show you the size. This is it, 500 by, uh, uh, 500, by 500 pixels, PX, like um, for logos. So it's going to give you templates that you can work with. So if I want to use this, what I just need to do is to create des designs, like just start using this. You can equally start from scratch. You just type in logo and they say create a blank logo. You just go in create to create a blank logo, click on that. And it gives you a, a working area with the size of the logo, which is 500 by 500. So you can start creating. Maybe you can change the color. So let's see how you can change the color of this. Incorporate text and also inc incorporate images and elements. So Canva has a vast variety of elements that you can use from. And you can use this to do a lot of things. So let's bring in, uh, first, let's bring in text. So we want to bring in text into this. So once you go on to, you click on this, you see, this is the elements. So let's just do a quick through. Elements are like this type of designs, elements that you can use, or 500 piece, uh, designs. We have uploads here. This is where you upload your own images. Your, or your own uh, images, if you have images out of Canva, you bring them in here and you start using them. So you just go in here and upload files. And once you upload files, your information will open and you upload that. Then uh, we come here, text. So this is where we bring in text. So if you want to bring in text, just go to here, click on text, and you click on this. If you want to add a heading, you bring it here. So I'm going to put in my name. I'm going to create a, uh, a logo with my name. So I'm just going to type Ibrahim. Mustafa, that's my name. So you can see that the text is big and it's not nice. We'll, we will look at how to uh, style this later. But let's go down. Uh, photos. Canva has its own stock images. And so you can just go here. And you see a lot of stock images that you can use. These are like, believe you me, they are free images and also they are pro images. But the free images are more. So you just any image that you see, you can use that for your designs. It's a reality free based on the fact that it has no watermark, which simply means it's free to use. Then we have styles. What type of style do you want? So like you can see this type of styles. If I click on style, it's going to give you some style below so we also have audio so people use canva to create videos and you can incorporate audios into your uh, videos that you create so you can bring up uh, royalty free vid audios there are also videos there are free videos that you can use here nice videos you can use for your youtube your instagram reels and stuff and there are backgrounds you can even use qr codes google maps maps and incorporate all this into your design so let's go back to the text yeah so once we have our text i believe you are conversant with this you come to the working area so this is where the uh, you can change uh, fonts 
so there are different fonts so i don't like this font it's basic font i like one font which is this one so i'm going to use this so you can see this one looks good so but there are a lot of fonts that let me use this okay this one too is not bad so you can choose from different range of fonts some are free some are pro versions but based on the plan that you have if you see something like this simply means it's pro i can use it because i'm a pro user so i can just use this so you choose the type of font that you want let me go back to this I'm going back to this so you can change the size of the font the the, the your image uh, like text change it tweak it change it change it if it's make it small and also you can see that there's a gap here so you can bring even change the gap go to uh, effects go to effects and um, once you go to you see this one spacing just go up you see this spacing i want to space it up a little great you can even space it out so based on how you want it you can space this you can also put this is for numbers this is for center or for you see justify center and all those things and this is for color color of the font so you go here you see the color and uh, you just once you click on it, it's going to reflect on the font and uh, good to go so i want it red right and uh, there's b some of the fonts will not allow you to bold you know italize them but some will allow so all this and you can animate the font you can even give it a color so let me show you how to uh, uh, give it a color maybe like you give it a background you can see that there's a background but you may not be able to see the background because the color is not visible so let's go this way you can give the font a, a background and all those stuff but then i don't want a background for this so i'm just going to use none so now we are done with this the text i believe you can now use the text function for whatever you want to use it for so let's look at the background i don't want the color white because if we have white color it might not work well so i'm going to change the color so once you click on the inside the uh, background you see options animate or color this is color so I want to change the color. I want it black. Just go default colors. If you have a color, but I'm just going to change it to black. You can change it to any color you want. And uh, you are good to go. So, and this is pretty much for any design you are doing. In this settings, like, you can use it for anything. Whether you fly, it still applies to this. So I want black. You can see this red is not the type of red I want. So I just have to great this red is better you can see this is better than this so you just have to tweak it and you need to be creative about this you need to be a little bit creative to be able to do whatever you want to do so now i have a my name all i want now is to bring in and the color is okay for me for the background all i want is an element whereby i can use the element to represent my logo so you go to elements if you have your own elements you can bring them in and uh, maybe you've downloaded elements from pixel bay or someone has designed something for you you can use that but i want a eagle an eagle so you type in what you want and you can use the eagle so this eagle is okay for me this eagle i like this eagle so i'm just going to click on this eagle and uh right here it is so but then i want it to match i want the colors to match so this eagle i want this color to be white so there's going to the so the only my my first name will should be white and uh, this one will be red but i want the eagle to match so that there will be the colors will match it to be consistent so let me go to this side I'm going to change red so the beak you will see that yes there's a kind of like color in it so i'm going, just going to use that and uh, i'm good to go it's okay for me i want a dangerous dangerous color that's okay so you can see this is okay for me and you can also bring in different uh, elements 
which is like this one. You can bring in uh, arrows, but I want this. I want this. And you'll be using this mo most of your designs. Maybe you want to create something like this. Something like this. So, and you can turn it. You can turn all this. So, I want to bring this one here. So, you pick it here and you bring it here. So, this is it, what I want. And I want the same for. So, I'll duplicate this. I want to copy it. Now, I want to change the color of this to white. Right. And uh, I'm going to duplicate this copy. You can just copy and paste this. So it's, it's there. I bring it here. And I'm good to go. So this is pretty much my design. And I like it this way. So if you are okay with this, you just go to share. You download. And the download options will give you different ways. If you want a transparent background, if you are the pro version, you get it. But then once you click on this, you can do JPEG, you can do PDF, you can uh, save it on uh, PDF, print, SVG files, MP4. So if you animate this, you will get a video type of it. So let's animate this. You see now it's a video. So you can just work with this. And it's good to go so that it will appear as a logo. So once you are done, you just download it. Still PDF, PNG, JPEG or any format that you want. So this is how you can use Canva to design this. So, and uh, there are a lot of things that you can use Canva for. So let me just go back to Canva, the home, home page of Canva. And once you are done, it's going to be saved into your projects. So anytime you can attend this to this, you can even have a phone option of it. Uh, Android or iOS, you can download the an app for Canva and you can use it on your phone. So let's go, let me go. Let me see how we can just do a simple design. So maybe you want Instagram post. So just do Instagram, just write on Instagram and it's going to give you options. So you can see Instagram live, Instagram post portrait, Instagram post square. So let's do the Instagram post portrait. So this is the portrait size and uh, you just click on any of them. And you work with that so maybe you have a restaurant just click on this it opens up and you change if you want this you can change the colors reaching them to suit you you can see the design has already changed right if you have your own uh, images you can bring them in you can if you if you can put your business name maybe Sauda. Sauda, whatever it is, and you are good to go. You can design, change this, uh, put different elements like we did just to make you converse. Then I'll do food. Elements will come. Wow, well, like, okay, let me cho 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 choose this because I like this. I like this. And it's good to go. But you can change the colors. Uh, maybe let me see. Okay, let me change this color to this and now uh, you can just tweak it tweak it and uh, change whatever it is that this background and stuff and once you are done you download it and it's an instagram post so this is a many are uh, some of the things that you can use canva for and i'm going to keep on doing tutorials about canva so if you know something that you want me to design specifically for you do a tutorial for just send me a message in the description below and let me know that oh do a thumbnail and next, I will be doing a thumbnail, okay? The next video, I will be doing a thumbnail about uh, like how to do a YouTube thumbnail for those who have YouTube videos and also how to do different designs. So let me know what design you want me to do for you and I will do that. But follow me to see my next design. Subscribe to this channel to see my next design. Thank you very much. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa and I will be doing more of these tutorials to help you Build on your business to help you create more opportunities. I'm not selling anything now. I'm just trying to let you know that you can do things and create opportunities for you. So let's go.